Um, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can see and I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> How Love are you doing? show. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. <laughs> it's uh, Good. re really good to be able to see you and talk to you. Yeah, finally. <laughs> We finally figured it out. yes, you know, there's there's a picture of yourself, Shana, L, and Shanice that you guys took in LA a couple just before Christmas. Or was Yeah. it in LA? So I I said to myself, well, I Sh 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 Shana was my first guest back in 2020. Um, then it was Shanice. Then I interviewed Elle, and I said, I need to finish this picture and get all four of you, so you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't know you um I knew you interviewed Shauna and Shanice. I didn't know you had interviewed Elle though, so that that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, before we start, I really want to congratulate you, you know, Dean's List for the four. <laughs> Yes, thank you. I'm so proud of myself because I have it it was a tough decision for me to make because it's kind of like I've been on this journey of I don't know. I like to learn, right? That's kind of my thing. I like learning new things. I think that's what you should do when um while you're here. We don't know all the answers to everything. Um I have other personal interests. Uh, I even, you know, I have a bachelor's in psychology because um, I was trying to help a family member who was going through a very difficult time and or not necessarily just help them, but to better understand their journey. And then that could maybe better help, um, help them if, you know, if they needed me. Um, and just have a better understanding as to why people do what they do. And, uh, you know, cause we all have our struggles and things like that. So for me, ever since I was a kid, I was like, Oh, I want to be, you know, in the, in the medical field. And I also want to be a singer. Those are like the two things that I really want to do. And then my mom was like, I don't know how you're going to do both, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah. Um, because mom was a nurse Okay. and, <clears throat> So it just was one of those things before she passed in 2021, she kept saying, you know, you should really finish um, that other dream of yours and um, just to do it for yourself. She's like, whether you use it or not, at least you can say, hey, I, I, I won't have any regrets and, and I'll do it. And it, but that was a very tough decision to come to because after, you know, I lost my dad, it'll be 10, 10 years ago this month. And losing my mom, who was literally my best friend, um, it was, I felt like I couldn't do it. Oh. Like I needed them here to kind of Uh -huh. Motivation. be my support. Yeah. But I think they've been guiding me through all of this for sure. I, I mean, how hard was it? I mean, um, because I I've completed my third postgraduate degree in seven years, and I retrained to be a therapist. Um, so I finished my third postgraduate um, uh, in August. And to go back to higher institution after doing finishing my bachelor's degree back in 97 was hard because, you know, got a family and working and all of a sudden I had to learn. Like it was, they, and, and I got diagnosed with dyslexia while doing my postgraduate. And it's like, oh, so now that's why I struggled. How hard was it for you to go back into school? Because I, I know it was hard for me just to be in a classroom submitting assignments, being critiqued for my work and having to be disciplined. So what was it like for you then? Extremely hard. I am that I think that's why I posted on my on my IG about fear is kind of what pushes me, you know, and people say you should be fearless and have no fear of things. I for me, I think it's okay to have fear or be afraid of the unknown because I think that's um what kind of motivates and pushes people. You know what I mean? To uh it I think we should challenge ourselves. Um, it was definitely the fear of the unknown because I hadn't been, I mean, even when I was recording as a teenager, I wasn't in school that much. 
because I was always on the road. So I had tutors. And when I would show up, it was like, oh, there's the girl that's hardly ever here. <laughs> How are you? And that was a challenge in itself because um, I was into sports and everything and I had to give up most of that. So yeah, as we get older and you go back to school, it was definitely a challenge. I was completely scared out of my mind that even literally the first week I was like, I, I just don't think I can do this. I don't know if I want to do it. Yeah. And, you know, is it too late to pull out now? And, you know, thank God for my family. Everybody was like, don't do that. Like, just, it's going to be fine. We're all going to be here to support you and you can do this. And I mean, I still cry at least once a week. I'm crying. <laughs> going, God, what am I doing? This is so hard. And then I'm like, okay, it's going to be fine. Because you realize everyone's crying. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know? What so, is your studying so people can know? I mean, because it, 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 it is like what being in, uh, an operating, supporting in, in, in an operating theater or something? Or? No. So originally it started off as full fledged on nursing, right? That's okay. kind of what I was going to do. And then the more I learned about how much nurses actually do, and this is no disrespect to nursing or nurses because my mom uh, was in that field and worked in the emergency room. Mm -hmm. For me, um, I felt like it, I wanted to do something that was more hands-on. And uh, so I started thinking about physician's assistant and medical assisting. So I went the path of medical assisting and I'm going to continue towards my PA um, <clears throat> because with medical assisting, you do tend to get to work more with uh, closer with, uh, with physicians and I also have the opportunity to work in uh, with specialists. So I'm kind of leaning towards oncology okay. right now or, car or, or cardiology um, are two of my interests. And the fact that we get to assist in minor surgeries and you also get to do phlebotomy and it's kind of like hands-on training. So I get to learn a whole lot even um, once I get started. So. I'm kind of excited about that path. Wow. Yeah. You, yeah. You, well, I mean, as I said, it's, it is, especially for any of us who, as I said, if you've been out of school for a long time and then trying to get back in and doing something quite different because you didn't do that for undergrad. So it's, it's a lot more learning, isn't it? It is a lot more learning. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely stressful. I don't sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> wow. How long do you have before you, you think you might finish? Um, I'll do my externship uh, starting in June. And then I'll take the boards. And then um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Okay. <laughs> at least with that. Because for my PA, there's schools that I want to go to in California. I don't think I'm going to, um, or that I'm interested in. I don't, uh, so I'm going to, I've been exploring that to see exactly where I want to go. But most likely it'll be on the West Coast to finish the program. But okay. yeah. Well, I mean, definitely wish you luck with that. Because I say, I know it's not easy, but it's, it's, and I think for those who are going to watch, they're going to be like, wow. So, she, you know, after a one career, you can actually take time and then go back in. And if she could do it, goodness, why am I procrastinating? So it's a really good to be able to see and hear that, um, <laughs> you know, they, it's hard, but it's rewarding as well. It's very rewarding. And yeah, nothing, nothing's easy. And I, and I was, a, to me, I think even in high school and stuff, I wasn't the best student. And I think it was because um, I traveled so much. Mm. It's not that I didn't, um, want to do well I worked hard but I wasn't as focused because yeah, I was career. making yeah I had a whole nother a whole career 
Um, so going back, yeah, that was part of the challenge too. I was like, maybe I'm just not cut out for school. Maybe this is not something I'm really like good at and, you know, I'm not going to do well. And so, no, I'm, I'm glad I, I made the choice to go back because I think I would have ended up going, why didn't I go back and, you know, what would have happened if I went back and, um, you know, we're, we're here for such a short amount of time. I'm going to try and challenge myself and do as much as I can um, while I'm here. Yeah. But you did your psychology. Did you ever think about going the therapist route? I did. And then I realized I needed a therapist. So <laughs> I was like, uh, I think I'm a good patient <laughs> for someone. I don't know if I should be telling others what to do. No, that was, re that was part of it. Once I started the journey, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. And then um, I learned a lot about addiction. I learned a lot about, you know, uh, behavioral therapy. And I kept thinking, maybe this is where, what I really want to do. And then I just, and then I realized it really, it really wasn't. Um, I learned a lot and I definitely carry it with me all the time. And I think it's also helped me with going back to school right now, because you kind of can apply that stuff to the medical field, obviously dealing, you know, with patient care. So yeah. Um, it wasn't a waste. I, I actually have, you know, um, once I finished, I was able to support that person that was struggling and, mm -hmm. and have been helpful to other friends of mine that had either dealt with addiction or um, just stuff in their life. So I, it was meant for me to go. I never participated in that kind of Or even loving us on which I did miss you. Yeah, I'm probably sure. But what was it like growing up? She's still making an impact on four houses down. I have a Get this one and that one. But that works for me, but just for me, I can No, no, no. Okay, you're okay. This is the thing with Joseph's voice.